With the swipe of a finger, you can find the latest viral trend on Facebook, view current news on Instagram, or learn a new hobby on YouTube. A blessing and a curse as experts learn the costs of having this kind of technology at our fingertips. The tribal youth are, are particularly vulnerable to this sort of, of uh, activity. In what's believed to be a first of its kind move, five tribal nations are suing social media companies, alleging their platforms contribute to disproportionately high rates of suicide for Native American teenagers. The Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, the Spirit Lake Nation, the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin, the Sisseton Wapiton Oyate, and the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa filed landmark lawsuits this spring against the parent companies of social media giants Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, and Google. Data from the Center for Native American Youth estimates that teen suicide for tribal youth are 3.5 times higher than the national average in the U.S. For female indigenous teens, the number is even more concerning, with the suicide rate being over five times greater than white female teens, according to the CDC. Former U.S. Attorney for the District of North Dakota Tim Purden is the lead counsel on the case for the law firm Robbins Kaplan. He tells ICT another public health issue actually helped spur progress. And that is the, the opioids litigation uh, that's been brought. I think in the end there were well over 250 tribes that sued the opioid manufacturers and distributors. In 2022, Robbins Kaplan represented 28 tribes in an opioids case that received a $589 million settlement. In another encouraging boost for the tribes, over 40 state attorneys general filed lawsuits last fall, alleging social media companies keep young users in their apps for longer, keeping them scrolling and checking their pages. Uh, when we saw that, uh, we recognized that, as in the opioid litigation, tribes here are sovereign, just like state attorneys general. They absolutely have the right, the power, the sovereignty to, to file their own cases. Enough is enough. Endless scrolling is rewiring our teenagers' brains, Gina Kakuk, chairwoman of the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin, told ICT in a statement. According to University of Colorado survey, over 65% of American Indian and Alaska Native youth ages 15 to 24 were on social media for three to seven hours a day. What do tribal leaders want? What would justice look like? So we seek abatement dollars. Um, in the opioid cases, uh, settlements have produced monies that started flowing to tribes last, last year. Many tribes are using them to uh, enhance their uh, drug addiction treatment facilities and, and capability on reservation. Uh, I would assume that if we are successful and we do recover abatement dollars, that our tribal clients would use those, those dollars to increase the access to mental health, suicide prevention, treatment, and, and resources on the reservation. ICT reached out to the defendants in this case and did not hear back. Google responded to the Associated Press in an April article saying the allegations in these complaints are simply not true. And really what I see here with these, this litigation, both in opioids, the opioid cases, and here with the social media cases, is you have a new generation of tribal leaders who certainly uh, want to hold the United States uh, uh, responsible for its trust obligations to the tribes but they also realize that they can use their sovereignty uh, in, in new and powerful ways, like these lawsuits. For ICT, I'm Aliyah Chavez.